Well, howdy, y'all. It's your buddy, the Texan Detector. And I'm out here with the Nocta Legend and the Nocta AccuPoint. Yes, sir. We're about to get out there and go detect with the brand new pinpointer on the brand new firmware 1.12. Yes, sir. It's been my first trip out with the Nocta AccuPoint, or as I like to call it, the Nocta Nana. And uh, I got the first time with this new firmware. I did the update. I did the reset. I swung it in the yard just to make sure it beat. And now we're going to go out there and see what the heck you can find. So I'm out here at this beautiful little park. Well, actually, it's a big-ass park. And uh, it's got a beautiful little tot lot. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of kids on the tot lot right now. So we're going to do some dirt detecting first, um, which is okay because we've actually got some rain. So I can actually dig a hole uh, deeper than a quarter of an inch. So it's great. So we're going to go out there and see what the heck we can find. So pack up your metal detectors in your mind, and I'll get back with y'all in due time when I get out there and start detecting. Yes, sir. Let's go have some fun, y'all. All right. This should be a good test for the AccuPoint. I got a got a 41. Should be pretty close to being on the surface right there. Okay. Sounds like it's probably about an inch or so down. I would think it would be right there. Yep. Said it was right there. What do we got, y'all? Oh, no. Oh no! Oh well. Aluminum bottle caps always sound good. Can't pass them up. But I did uh, get right on it. I love the ratcheting of the uh, Nokta Nana. It definitely is more accurate than the other pinpointers I've used. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how much I like the holster because it keeps coming unsnapped. I had to put both snaps on, but we'll see if that works. Um, other than that, uh, the first two times I used it, I kept hearing this disconnect, reconnect, disconnect and uh, in my headphones. I don't know how much I like that, but the last two times I've used it, I haven't. So maybe it's just a learning process. We'll see. Let's keep on keeping on. On to the next one, baby. Well, all right, y'all. I got something I haven't had in a while. I got a 45, 46 that seems to be probably about four to six inches deep. <laughs> it's been a while since I could dig a plug. It's deep. Uh oh, it's not sounding too good now, but hey, we're on a learning experience here today. Okay, should be right down yonder. I like it's deeper. Huh. 
I must have threw it out. Stuck to my shovel. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. I did throw it out. And it was a deep dime. Hey, I'll take that, baby. Got us our first dime on the board. It's an orange one. Looks like it's been there a while. I think it's 72. All right, y'all got us a pretty dime on the board. Let's keep on keeping on. Well, y'all, I've saved y'all the trouble of watching me dig all these daggum pool tabs and ring pools. I've been digging a bunch of them, but I got a pretty signal right here. Listen to this. I'm thinking a quarter, but man, it's sharp. It wouldn't surprise me if it wasn't a quarter, but Well, it doesn't sound like it's Ferris. That's my favorite thing about this pinpointer. Be sure y'all stick around for the end because I'm gonna have some tips and tricks for you with this pinpointer because I've already noticed a few things. Uh-oh. There she blows. What is that? What is that? It's not a quarter. It's not junk. Well, it is junk, but hey! <laughs> <laughs> Every time I come around your park, bling bling, 100% mother, bling bling, nothing but copper plated bull crap, but bling bling, bling bling, bling bling, bling bling. <laughs> Got my first piece of jewelry with the new firmware and the new pinpointer. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it 100% because I'm 100% down, baby. Yes, sir. All right, well, we got our first. I told you it sounded too sharp to be a quarter. It sounded like some, some, and that's what it is. All right, y'all, 100%, baby. Let's keep on keeping on 100. Hey, y'all, I've been digging all kinds of crazy signals here. It says I got a solid 27 right there. I don't think that's going to be a nickel, but it might be. Huh. Uh oh. Found it, y'all. Should be right around yonder. I think I pushed it forward when I dug my little clip here. I think that's it right there. Oh, look at that pool tab. That's a relic right there. Look, it's even green. <laughs> it's the baby pool tab. It's the baby uh, ring pool. Well, maybe next I'll find a baby ring. Yes, sir. Let's keep on keeping on, baby. I had to dig it. It was a little different. Let's keep on keeping on. Well, I'm over here behind the volleyball courts detected in the dirt. I'm actually heading towards the porta potties over there. The well, I guess it's not porta potties. They're actually uh, facilities. And I got this very orange red penny. 1966, baby. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. See if we can find any more goodies out here on this beautiful little park. Uh, I've been digging up pull tab after pull tab after pull tab. I mean, I knew there were pull tabs, but. Uh, you gotta dig them, right? Just gotta. I'm looking for rings, so if you're looking for rings, you're gonna dig a lot of pull tabs. All right, on to the next one. All right, y'all, let's have a little fun here. Right here. Shh. 
Should have a 41 right there. Let's find out, y'all. 41 should be a penny, right? All right, got something right about yonder here. A little bit deeper. There she blows. Hey, that's a pretty good uh, showing for the uh, Nocta Nanner. That was about three inches deep, and it's, I mean, it gave me a solid signal for it right where it was. <laughs> hey, I'm getting the hang of this Nanner. Well, actually, I mean, well, I'm going to save that to the wrap up because I do got a couple uh, tips and tricks I've learned along the way so far. But, uh, man, the Nocta Nanner is working wonderfully. All right, y'all, on to the next one. Y'all. I'm still here in the trash pit, right about three foot over from where I found that penny, and I got a got me a 46, probably about five inches deep right here. Hoping it's a dime, maybe another copper penny. I didn't get all the dirt out of that hole, did I? I bet it's in that right there. What you want to bet? Uh-oh. Do y'all see it? I already see it. It broke loose from the coin ball right there when I flipped it. Ah, oh, it's at Memorial. I thought it was going to be a weedy. Look at the green on that mother. It's got to be an older one. I already got a 66 over here. Come on, what you got here, baby? Am I rubbing the wrong side? I think I'm rubbing the wrong side. Oh well, one more rub. Give a little medicine on that one. I think that's a 76 or a 78. I think it's a, I still can't tell. It's either a 76 or a 78, y'all. All right, well, I'm happy to have another copper penny and throw it in the pocket. Let's keep on keep it on. Well, y'all, I finally got over to the top line I've been wanting to hit. Well, I must have bumped it around. I don't see it though. I was expecting a penny. Let's see what we got. Yep, it is a penny. I'll take it though. Another coin in the pocket. Let's keep on, keep it on, baby. All right, y'all. I got me another. Got a 42-43. Kind of interesting. Uh-oh. I seen it. Did y'all see it? It is just another penny. Oh well, very weird looking penny, all toned up because it's been in the water for a while, but hey, I kind of like being able to dig it out with my pinpointer. <laughs> Alright, y'all on to the next one. This is a kind of interesting one, I got it in between the, just a 42, I'm pretty sure it's going to be another penny, but you just never can tell on these tot lots, so you got to check. Okay, maybe it's a little deeper than I thought. Okay. Mm. 
and there she blows it is another penny but hey that's okay I'll take it coins in the pocket make me happy I already got a piece of jewelry I'd like to get some more I need a ring baby I already got a pendant I need a ring let's go find it y'all well, I switched over to a different little park it's an older park it's right across from this like church preschool type thing and we got our first signal right next to this little seat here. I've had pretty good luck here in the past. There we go. I tell you, that little scoop on the front end of this pinpointer for the tot lots is freaking amazing. Look at that, guys. Another little penny on the board. Looks like it's $19.99. We're going to party like it's $19.99 because I was just watching the live stream. I took a break, got me some water, and uh, my privacy agreement is over. Tonight, I will be releasing some footage on the Nocta AccuPointer, or as I like to call it, the Nocta Nana, baby. All right, y'all, let's keep on keeping on. Well, y'all, I think I. Very good possibility I got my first nickel right here somewhere, somewhere. Yep. Ha ha ha. Got us our first nickel. It's not an old one, it's one of the new ones. But I did get me a nickel on the board. I'm happy, happy, happy. All right, y'all on to the next one, baby. Oh, baby, I got a pretty, pretty seven signal right here. probably a dime maybe even a quarter but I'm hoping for a piece of silver jewelry is what I'm really hoping for let's see what we got baby uh oh it is a dime uh oh <laughs> what did I set my oh check it out y'all I set my pinpointer down on this little uh, adapter um, that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> but I got to get me a dime on the board, y'all. I don't know if y'all... Wait a minute. What? You got to be kidding me, right? You're joking, right? That's a 1952 dime. <laughs> I got me a silver dime on this stupid tot lot. <laughs> the dog back there doesn't like me. All right, y'all, uh, I got me some silver on the board. I'm happy, happy, happy. All right, let's keep on keeping on. On to the next one, baby. Well, all right, y'all, this is why I stopped here. I think I got a coin spill, but first, let's check this out. I got a $100 pencil, man. <laughs> How you love that? Your boy doesn't just find pencils. He finds $100 pencils. And he doesn't just find nails. He finds freaking nails. Look at that mother. I, I didn't detect either one of them, so I just throw them in my pouch. But uh, I think I have a coin spill or a couple of coins under here somewhere. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'm thinking that's going to be a nickel. Yep. Got us a nickel on the board. Throw that in the pocket. Here, let's turn the old pinpointer off for a minute. I think I got a quarter over yonder here. Yep, got us a quarter. Let's put that in the pocket. Anything special about it? D, nah, nothing special. We're gonna throw it in the pocket. Man, the skaters are eating me up. I had another signal over here somewhere. Let's see if we can just find it with the pinpointer. There she blows. And it's another quarter. I'm 50 cents richer, baby. I'll take it. Whew. Man, it's hot under here. <laughs> All right, y'all got me a couple more coins on the board. That's why I wanted to stop here. It's not like every time I come here, I find a coin spill under this tot lot. 
All right, y'all, on to the next one. Well, all right, y'all, I found another little pocket park on my way to the park I wanted to detect. And I got a 29 right there. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a pull tab, but... Whatever it is, it's right there. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, it's a pull tab. <laughs> it was a pretty pull tab. I thought it was Joey for a minute. All right, y'all, on to the next one, baby. All right, y'all. Y'all, I'm detecting by the swing right here, and I got me another 41 right here, probably a penny. Let's see what we got here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's a ring, baby. Uh. Well, I do not see any writing on it, and it looks like. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it was definitely plated at one point in time. It's just a copper ring. But hey, y'all, I got my first freaking ring <laughs> with the new firmware update and the Nokta Nana, baby. I am digging that. All right, y'all, we got us a ring on the board. Heart, heart, heart. You see that heart? It's pretty. All right, y'all, on to the next one, y'all. Well, I'm still detecting by the swing. I'm kind of to the backside of it, and I got me a... Solid 26. I don't even need the, don't even need the Nana for that one. I can see it. It is a shiny, pretty nickel. Look at that pretty nickel. Yes, sir. Got me a tickler on the board. Let's keep on keeping on. Well, yeah, that was a junky signal, but an interesting find. Some kind of computer chip of some kind. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but. Probably a cell phone that got hit by the lawnmower if I had to guess. All right, y'all, on to the next one. Well, y'all, I don't think depth is going to be an issue with the new firmware. Because I just got this penny at eight inches deep in the top lot. <laughs> and it was banging, too. All right, y'all, let's keep on. Keep on. Look how green it is. All right, y'all, on to the next one. All right, so I'm under this little slide thing. And I got me a nice... 41, 42, every now and then 43. Oh, there she goes. Just another green penny. But man, in places like this, you really got to wonder because some places, stuff like that could have easily been a silver earring or a pendant or something. All right, y'all, on to the next one, baby. Sorry, y'all. I just realized I haven't had the sound on for y'all. <laughs> Got me a solid 46 right there. We all know that's probably a dime. Well, I thought I'd probably just see it, so... Nope, it is not a dime, y'all. It is a 1975 copper penny. But I'll still take it. Let's keep on, keep it on, on to the next one, baby. Well, y'all, I just found a nickel behind this little basketball goal, and I think... Sure sounds like there should be another one right about there, doesn't it? Let's find out. If I had to guess whatever it is should be right there. Probably can slaw since I turned y'all on this time. Nope. It is the nickel I was looking for. <laughs> I found several nickels today. All right, y'all. Well, I got us another nickel on the board. Let's keep on keeping on. 
it's going to be the last park for today. I was going to hit the top lot, but there's a gentleman and his son out there enjoying it right now. So I'm just going to do what I can do until then. I may get to hit it or I may just call it a day. Well, y'all, I'm detecting through here and I wonder why. Can you figure out why? Let's see what we got. A nickel and a penny. Here, let's set these to the side here on the concrete. Oh no, almost lost my nickel. <laughs> let's turn on the old pinpointer here. Did I miss it or is there more than one? Well, there's one more penny. Let's see if we got anything else going on over here. Well, there's another one. Oh, no wonder I'm chasing around. I'm chasing around a stupid little nail. <laughs> oh, all right. We got something over there, though. What is that? What is that? I don't have a clue. That may be part of a broken zipper pull. Well, all right, y'all. Had a little coin spill. Had a little fun. Figured I'd show y'all. That three pennies of nickel and that random piece of copper. We're gonna throw those in the bottom uh, in the pocket. We're gonna keep on keeping on. Well, here we go, y'all. It's probably the last signal of the day. I got me a. Me a 46 right there. Yeah, but right there. Let's see. Uh oh, could it be in the clump? Nope. Well, there she blows, y'all. I see it. Well, it's right there. Just a penny, I think. Yep. Oh, it's a dime. <laughs> well. A dime just in the nick of time before I head to the house, y'all. All right, well, it was a fun little day with the Nocta AccuPoint, or as I like to call it, the Nocta Nana and the new 1.12 firmware. Uh, I will give you my full review in the wrap-up. Well, that's it, y'all. The first hunt with the Nocta Nana, a.k.a. Nocta AccuPoint, aka my new pinpointer. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, the Nocta Nana, uh, 
it did everything I thought it was going to do. Now, I'm going to have to hold back a little bit on my review because um, after my hunt, I got an email from Nocta. Uh, apparently, I got one of the first batch uh, beta test units, which means um, I did not get the updated uh, Bluetooth. Um, so, they are sending me a new Nocta Nano. But... Um, this is something I did notice about the Nocta Nana. Then this may be uh, rectified in the newer models. If I turned off the detector and turned off the headphones and turned off the pinpointer for an extended period of time, you know, like if I drove 15 minutes to the next park, 20 minutes to the next park, and I turned on the headphones to get a good connection i actually had to turn the pinpointer on before i turn the legend on now i don't know if that's something that's going to be rectified in the update or if that's just the way it is which isn't a big deal you know you turn on your headphones you click on your head pinpointer for a minute once they connect you turn off your pinpointer you turn off turn on your legend it connects and you start hunting that's what I had to do to get a good uh, connection. Otherwise, the if I turned the detector on first, it prioritized the detector and the AccuPoint uh, didn't sync. Now, like I said, I, this, I have a test unit. They said they're sending me a new one. So maybe this is something they rectified. I did get an email while I was waiting for my AccuPoint saying that the pairing may take up to 10, what, 10 to 13 minutes for the initial pairing. Now, my initial pairing did take long, but not that long. It took like maybe three or four minutes, but it, it paired up and, it's, and it syncs up quick now. So that, that, that wasn't a big deal. I loved the Nocta Nana in the field. I didn't get any falsing. It just it, it did like it was supposed to do. So I so everything is a big thumbs up except for that one little weird caveat where you got to turn the pinpointer on before you turn the detector on, which isn't that big a deal. It's not the end of the world. If that's not something they fixed in the update, I'm not going to cry about it because it's, it's really not a big deal. I mean, my freaking pinpointer goes through my headphones. That's freaking awesome. I've loved my TRX and ain't never gone through no headphones. <laughs> so first uh, hunting the books, I didn't find any major problems with it. It detected great. I didn't have any falsing. Battery life seems to be great because, hold on, I detected a good, I don't know, um, off and on three or four hours. Uh, part of that time did, yeah, I, I still have a completely full battery. Okay, so, um, no problems with the Nocta Nana. It, it, it worked like a dream. Um, I, I said that one little weird caveat, but maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know. I've never had a headphone, I mean, a pinpointer that synced up to my headphones. So let's get down to the lecture hand. Let's see what your boy came back with in the sack real quick. Because, yes, this was a metal detecting trip. I did find this weird little adapter after looking at it, though. I think it's missing... Come on, baby, focus. I think it's missing, like, the shell of the USB. I don't know. I uh, found another croc charm. Found a, a little computer chip. I think it's from a phone. And then I found this not too far of it. It looks like it's part of a phone, too. Probably a phone got hit with the lawnmower and got kicked up in the tot lot. I found this little weird piece of metal. I found this. This is actually a bullet. I don't know if I'll ever be able to show you, but you can actually see the ridge where it was. I think you see it right there where it was once in a like a little copper uh, casing. I think that was a little 22 shell that got smashed. I did do okay in clad. I got 5, 10, 14 pennies. I got 8 nickels. That's a lot of nickels for, for me. I, that, okay. I did get 5 dimes. I got 5 quarters. And then the star finds of today's show, move these tools out of the way. First of all, kind of like how I feel about the, the note to AccuPoint, 100, baby. <laughs> Man, that sucker's heavy. It's hard to believe someone wore that around their neck, and I can see why it broke the chain. <laughs> I did not find the chain, though. Uh, I did find this little ring. I thought that was cute. Look at that little heart. Ain't that neat? 
Uh, found that on a tot lot. I wasn't even going to stop at. But the star find of the day show has got to be this. If I can get it to stay still in my hand here. It's a 1952 silver dime on the tot lot. Cannot beat that, baby. Well, I guess I could. I guess it could have been a quarter. Well, y'all, that was my hunt with the Nocta Nana. I can't not wait to get the new one in so I can tell y'all if there's any differences. Um, everything about it works great. Um, I was worried about, because I have a tendency to poke around with my pinpointer probably a little more than I should. And I've always wondered uh, the, if, if a removable tip is going to stay on, because I do have a tendency to dig and poke and prod. And man, I, I dug with my I actually I think there's a uh, clip in this video where I actually dug my target out of a tot lot with the pinpointer and hey everything was just great everything worked the way it should have done I am very happy with my Nocta Nana and I can't wait to get the new and improved Nocta Nana so until next time y'all it's your buddy the Texan detector happy hunting and stay dirty my friends yes sir